Well, there we are, look. Finished article. It's not come out too bad. I just, it works, and I fitted a switch. Fitted a switch on it there, and properly wired up. Made the frame all painted up, look. So we're finished. So uh, we'll see if it goes. It's been a long-winded job, but I think it's been worth it actually. Because it's uh, what's it cost? Well, it's cost me about twenty quid and marks and a second-hand motor he's had, a bit of steel and a bit of scrap steel, a bit of welding electric, and that's about it. But there we are. We'll see if it still works. Right, my totally homemade log splitter. Right, I'll see a video of one. I'll show you a bit. So I went to see a mate. He's got a lathe and I says, we have got some bar. So I made that. And the first thing, problem I had, was that the um, lathe didn't have a tapered screw attachment. And it's bloody difficult. Anyway, I did it. I'm a bit pleased with that. Well, next you're going to have to do this log. I've got to do this log now. I'll do this. Stop. Well, Mark found the motor we were looking for. So, we'll give it another go. Oh, anyway, let's okay. go a little power. Right, come on, Yeah. Hold on. This Ready? is when you say Mark. Well, I've got to make a stand for the log splitter, of course. Finish it off properly. Now it works, and this is what we've got to make it with. I've had, I've got this look. It's not uh, ever so well made. If you can see that, I'm trying to keep in the sun. There we are. You can probably see. So that's what I've got to do. Right, get on with that. Well, I've got all the pieces cut up. I've had to design it as we go along. So all I've got to do now is clean it up and weld the frame together. So we'll have to get on and do that. Well, oh, we've got the frame made, look. And it hasn't turned out too bad. It's all nice and square. Remember what I had to work with. So a lot of it, it's, it's, uh, it's made up metal anyway, so. But no, look, it's, it's not come too badly, has it? So we'll, next step is to get it painted and a board in the top and we've got a switch so we can make a, hopefully, a fairly professional job of it at the end. Right. Right, let's we'll see if it still works. No, it goes around the right look and I can stop and start it there, so it's a one man job, and it's not one man job videoing. Right, let's try a small log first, see if it works. It did before, so it should do now. That works alright. Perfect. Yeah. Now we'll try this one. It might be a bit much for today. I'm not sure. Okay. And you can stop it yourself. You see. Now, like I said, it's just. Well, that's it's a big lump now. It is. Look, it's done it all right. Yeah. You? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong in that, is there? Right, that's as good as any we've seen. You don't need bars and fluid to get it started. Right, so what we'll do. Not much at all. The 
So there you go. That's it. Place your orders. Yeah. Place your orders. That's it. How about that? And it's quite neat and tidy look. And it needs to clean down. Yeah. And any shavings, any sawdust, and just fill the joints, which will make the top even better. So it look put quite down, good as new. Now I think that's been worth it. I do honestly. There we are then. That's enough of the log splitter. Bring your logs and we'll cut them for you. We'll split them for you, as you'd say. Little trail and load, you know, and we'll split them for you. For a fee, of course. Alright, bye.